What's the most significant position you held 10 years ago that you no longer hold today, that you've, you've flipped on, you've changed on because you actually see it differently? Be because I actually uh, changed my mind. You changed your mind, it, it, exactly. Well, you know, I, I, I'm trying to think back uh, 10 years ago. I, I think that uh, a, a good example would be the issue of welfare reform, where uh, I always believed that welfare had to be changed. Uh, I was much more concerned 10 years ago when President Clinton initially signed the bill mm -hmm. that this could have disastrous results. Mm -hmm. um, I worked in the Illinois legislature to make sure that we were providing uh, child care and health care and uh, other support services mm -hmm. for the women who, would, uh, who were uh, going to be kicked off the rolls at, after a certain time. Uh, it, had, it worked better than I think uh, a lot of people anticipated. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know, one of the things that I am absolutely convinced of uh, is that we have to have work as a centerpiece of any social policy. Okay. Not only because... Uh, not only because uh, ultimately people who work are going to get more income, mm -hmm. but the intrinsic dignity of work, mm -hmm. uh, the, the sense of purpose. We were made for work. We're made for work. And, yeah. and, and, and the sense that you're part of a community because yeah. you're making a contribution, yeah. uh, no matter how small to, uh, to the well-being of the country as a whole. Conservatives say President Obama is trying to do an end run around welfare to work. The requirement that able-bodied adults get a job or job training in exchange for government assistance. But the White House insists it's just changing the work requirements, not getting rid of them. Jim Angle is live in our D.C. newsroom. Jim. Hello, John. Well, the Obama administration quietly offered to issue waivers to the work requirements in the law, which conservatives characterized this way. The Obama administration is gutting welfare reform by claiming the authority to be able to waive work requirements. And work requirements, of course, were the heart of the success of welfare reform passed in 1996. Now, President Clinton signed the bill in 1996 after embracing Republican ideas for reform. It was enormously successful, cutting welfare, welfare rolls in half and pushing child poverty to historic lows. Now, the work requirement can't be waived, but the Health and Human Services Department claims it can issue waivers by using other provisions in the law. That outraged Republican Senator Orrin Hatch calls it, quote, an outright abuse of the federal government system of checks and balances and an insult to American taxpayers. Lawmakers were already unhappy because in 2005, the Government Accountability Office found that several states were listed as, were listing as work some things that clearly did not qualify, including bed rest, personal care activities, massage, exercise, journaling, motivational reading, and smoking cessation. So the new developments have aroused a lot of suspicions. You know, one of the things that I am absolutely convinced of uh, is that we have to have work as a centerpiece of any social policy. The Obama administration quietly offered to issue waivers to the work requirements in the law. I pledge to be a servant to our president and all mankind because, because together, together we can, together we are, and together, together we will be the change that we seek.